what is Basel III and why do we need to think about it at the moment? The Basel framework is a set of internationally agreed standards which is used to determine how much capital banks need to hold in order to manage the exposures they have. And the reason why it's particularly important here and now is because it's part of the G20 drive to ensure that more derivatives are being cleared through central counterparties than those that aren't or properly risk managed. Of course, in many cases, there will not be a choice for banks as to whether they clear a derivative or not. But where there is a choice, and there's a choice to trade and clear bilaterally or with a CCP, then the point is there should be incentives, the regulators say, to go through a CCP rather than maintain bilateral relationships. It's important to note that the Basel rules themselves don't have any legal force. They need to be brought into effect in each jurisdiction through national legislation. And this will be done in different ways, at different paces and in different forms. So it's very important to know exactly which legislation is applicable to you and how they relate to each other. There are three main elements. The first and most important is the basic calculation of an exposure to a CCP. And then there are two others. One is a leverage ratio and the other is a, is a large exposures issue. In terms of exposure to a CCP, for many years it's been possible for bank regulators not to require banks to hold capital against exposure to CCPs. They were seen as effectively risk-free, a bit like a government. But there is a very remote chance a CCP could fail and the regulators being increasingly cautious want banks to maintain capital against that risk. That has two elements. One is a direct exposure to the CCP itself, if for example cash margin has been given and separately exposures to the CCP's default fund, where it's not the CCP itself that's failed, but another member that is using the CCP's default fund to which the bank has contributed. Two other elements are the leverage ratio, a measure of exposure to capital, and also large exposures where there may be limits or controls on the single size of a large exposure to a counterparty such as a CCP. Key to a CCP's value, of course, is the netting that is provided by a single central counterparty. And the extent to which this netting is recognised in the calculations is going to be key to determine whether the capital results are actually the real incentive to clear that the regulators want. As I said, Basel is a complex package with many elements. Each of these are being progressed in different ways at different times. At the moment, as I speak, the rules on CCP exposures are in place in some jurisdictions and not in others, and there are consultations underway on large exposures and the leverage ratio. As a package overall, Basel III is intended to be in place in 2019. Uh, that, however, will not necessarily be the end of it. I think we can expect there to be a Basel IV in due course, so it's important that you keep abreast of what's coming up in the future. The best way to do that is to go straight to the source, to the Basel Committee, to the BIS website. It's very well laid out. You can subscribe to Alert. You can see all the consultations that they have and you can contribute to those consultations. In addition to that, there is lots of free information, analysis being done by, league, by lawyers and accountants, giving their view on what this means to the industry. And also, if you have a chance, you can go directly to the supervisors to see what they think and what they know is coming up. In short, this isn't the end of it, it's a continual process. Keep watching the website and see how it's going to affect you.